Creating a catalog. A catalog is defined as a list of items. You can create catalogs using Publisher by either creating a list of items to add to the catalog or by importing a list of items into Publisher. If you wish to import a list of items, you will import an Excel spreadsheet. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create a catalog by creating one of our own. For our catalog, we're going to pretend we're a retailer with 12 high quality hair care products for which we need to create a catalog. We will put three items on each page of our publication so that we have room for the price, pictures and description. That comes to four pages in all. There are two ways that we can do this. There is the hard way in which we would design eight separate pages and manually enter everything using the techniques learned thus far in the course. The easy way is going to be compiling the product list, then creating a single template using the catalogue tools. When we finish, Publisher will automatically take care of all the information in the product list and insert it into our template, creating eight individual pages with three products on each page. We're going to show you the easy way in this lesson. If you want to follow along while we create our catalogue, go ahead and open a blank template. Next, go to the Insert tab in the ribbon. Click the Catalog Pages button in the Pages group. This will open the Catalog Tools Format tab, as you can see here. If this is the first time you've used Catalog Pages in the current publication, most of the buttons will be greyed out and inactive. They will remain this way until you create or select a data list. As we mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, you can either create a list or import a list for a catalogue. Let's learn how to create a data list. Click the button on the far left side of the Catalogue Tools Format tab called the Add List button. You'll see this drop down menu. Here we have the option of creating a new list, using an existing one, or choosing a list from our Outlook contacts. Since we're going to be making a catalogue of shampoo products, we're obviously not going to use our Outlook contacts. We'll show you how to use Outlook contacts in the Mail Merge section of a later lesson. Click the Type New List option. Here we have the opportunity to create our list from scratch. We are going to add information for our first product. Under the Product column, we'll enter the name of our product. We'll add a description under the Description column. We will then fill out the information under other columns as well. You may notice the column titled Picture. For this column, you cannot use an actual image. Instead, you must use the address of the image. For instance, if the image is on your computer, in your Publications folder, the address might be C slash user slash your name slash documents slash picture name. To add an item, click the New Entry button. This activates a new row. Click the first cell of the row, type in your information, then hit the Tab key to jump to the next cell, and so on. This is our product list here. Click OK. Enter a name for the list in the file name field. Then click on Save. You can now make any changes that you want in your list. You can also remove products if you want. When you've finished, click on OK. Your new list has been created. Let's go back to the new list dialog box for just a second. If the column headings at the top of your list aren't appropriate for you, or you'd like to add more fields, click on the Customize Columns button. If you've already started to create a list, Publisher will tell you that before you can continue, the list you are making must be saved. It will ask you if you want to do this now, so click Yes. You will then see this dialog box. The buttons on this window are pretty much self-explanatory. You can rename a field by selecting it and clicking the Rename button. You can add or delete items, or move them up or down in the list. Click OK when you're finished. This will return you to the previous window. Click OK when you've finished adding all of your products. Publisher will then ask you where you want to save the list and what you want to call it, just like before. Type in a name, 
select a location and click OK. In addition to creating your own list in Publisher, you can also use a list you've already created in another program, such as Excel. To use an existing list, go back to the Catalog Tools Format tab and click on the Add List drop down again. This time, we're going to select the Use Existing List option. If you're going to use an Excel file, the data in the Excel file must be in a table. If this dialog box appears, it means you already have a list set up. If you want to use a new list, click on Yes, otherwise click on No. Select your data source, and then click on Open. You'll then see the Select Table dialog box. Select the table that contains a list and then click on OK. The Catalog Emerge Product List dialog box appears when you create a new list as well as when you use an existing list. For that reason, let's take a closer look at it. In the Catalog Merge Product List dialog box shown here, you have the opportunity to review the items in the list, as well as select which items you want to include in your catalog. In this example, the items with a check mark indicate that they will be included. Uncheck the box on the items that you don't want to include. Now look below at the Data Sources box. This shows you what list you are using. Selecting it will make the Edit, Remove and Refresh buttons active. The Match Fields button allows you to match fields in your data list with fields available for your catalog merge. For instance, the data field in an Excel spreadsheet might simply be named Field A. This button allows you to identify Field A as product, description or any other customised fields. Once you've created your list or selected one, it's time to create your catalog pages. So click OK. But now, let's use our original list that we created earlier in the lesson. In the navigation pane on the left side of your publication, you'll see something like this. This group of pages here, labelled 2, represents your catalog. You can add individual pages before it or after it, and you can even move two around as a group, as if it were only a single page. You can also delete it just like any other individual page. As we said earlier, what you're going to do is create a template that Publisher will use as a guide for entering all of the information in your list. After you create your list and activate the catalog page features, you're going to see something like this on the page here. This is the default catalog merge area. As we mentioned earlier though, we're going to want three products per page, so we're going to select that layout from the layout group under the Catalog Tools Format tab on the ribbon. This is the box here. Publisher has 10 predefined layouts for you to use. You can select any layout at any time, even after you've entered your merge fields. Publisher will automatically make the adjustments. You can also create your own layout by using the Rows and Columns button on the right side of the layouts here. Adding rows and columns with this tool is just like inserting a new table. Just remember that each cell essentially represents each item on your list. The Fill Order button lets you decide how Publisher should fill each of those cells, either across then down, or down then across. The Repeating Areas option lets you choose the way in which the merge areas are repeated. The drop down menu is shown here. Now that we've selected the layout that has the room for three products per page, we can enter our fields. Our layout is shown here. To the right of the layout group on the ribbon, we will find the fields buttons. This button gives us access to the fields in our list that we created earlier. The text fields will appear in your publication as placeholder text. For instance, if we were to click on the product field, it would appear in our publication as open brackets product close brackets. This represents all the information that was entered into the product field of the list we created earlier. You can use these text tools to change any of the attributes of the placeholders. Let's zoom in a little bit further. If we replace this text here by selecting it, then click on text field and then product, you can see the name of the product will appear here. This is the placeholder text. 
You can use the text tools to change any of the attributes of the placeholders. For instance, if you increase the font size of this product's placeholder, the font size in each subsequent entry will also change automatically. You can also add pictures and other objects. Just remember, anything you put in the merge field will show up in every other field. To the right of the catalog tools format tab on the ribbon, you'll find the preview page group. From this group here, you can preview the results, locate an entry, and even exclude an entry from the catalog. It is now time to merge the catalog. This is the part of the process where Publisher creates all of the individual pages it needs in order to display all the items in your list. On the far right of the ribbon, you'll find the merge group. You can elect to merge your catalog into a new publication, add it to an existing one, or just print it. Clicking Merge to New creates an entirely new publication based on the publication you originally created the catalog for. Publisher automatically inserts all of the necessary pages into your publication. If you were to click the Add to Existing button, Publisher would give you the opportunity to locate the publication on your computer and select it. It would then enter all of your catalog entries into that publication, creating as many pages as necessary. The Print button creates the pages and allows you to print them. You can also preview the pages before printing.